guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, we are testing out a bunch of new makeup. I am so excited about this. I have it all in here. So, before everybody thinks that I have totally derailed into the land of Sephora and not sticking to Project Zero or buying only what I need, um, I bought this stuff with a Sephora gift card. And all of this stuff was a Sephora gift card that was given to me. And all of this stuff has been on my list for a really long time and I think you'll see why. Like this isn't new, brand new makeup. This is new makeup to me that I've never tried and I'm really excited about it. Some of it I have used and I'll, I'll say that in the video, but most of it is stuff I haven't used and I'm so freaking excited to try it all. Um, before we get into the video, I do wanna tell you guys about something. Recently on social media and with my clients came out of my spiritual closet and I talked about my journey to tap into my inner power and connect to the spiritual side of myself and explore my connection to my inner light and to the divine and to the universe. And with that, I was called to start something called My Power Project. It's something completely free to be a part of. It is a Facebook group and what it is is a platform for me to teach what I've learned so far, to share my story with you guys and to give you support on your journey, um, to help you heal, um, develop self-love, tap into your inner power and connect to your true self and figure out what your purpose in this life is. And I am really, really excited about this. It is such a huge passion purpose for me. I really wasn't even planning to do this right now, but the universe keeps kind of tapping on my shoulder like you're supposed to do this now, you're supposed to do this now. And so I officially released it on Monday, yesterday, and everybody's working on themselves. And I had a beautiful message today is actually the summer solstice so it is the lightest the brightest and the longest day of the year and it's such a great time to be doing something like this it's definitely not a coincidence the universe told me to create this right now for you guys because it is kind of the ushering out of the old and the bringing in of the new. So the point of the summer solstice is really to let go and move on from our past, our limiting beliefs about ourselves, about others, and to bring in a new energy and enter into a new phase of life. It is the end of spring and the beginning of summer. That's what the summer solstice represents. I'm really excited that I launched this yesterday and I had a beautiful message today for everybody in that group called Sisters of Power about the summer solstice and about reflecting on your past, letting go, and then opening up space in your heart for the new energy that is going to come to you today. So if you want to be a part of that, you can visit my website for this. It is called mypowerproject.com and it will be linked below. Also, in relation to this, I was guided to create something called the Power Oracle, and this is actually something that first came to me months ago, and I think I was supposed to kind of create it then, but I really put it on the back burner because I wasn't ready to do everything, and I kind of wanted to do it all at once, so it's called My Power Oracle, and it is messages from the divine that are meant for you, so they are boxes of pure white light, um, images that you'll see on your computer. It's hosted through an Instagram, but it's also on the website as well and you scroll through and think of the message or the question that you have in your heart something that you want guidance on and you pick the box that your intuition tells you to pick that speaks to you and it will give you the message that is meant for you so you can check that out too all this is completely for you guys i am meant to be a spiritual teacher and healer and to do that um, this is what I want to do and this is the way that I want to do it So if you feel like you aren't sure who you are if you haven't been able to love and accept yourself If you are wondering what's next in your life if you're thinking there must be more to life than this I'm missing something or if you are just feeling lost and This speaks to you um, Definitely go join it. It's the right place for you Let your intuition guide you on this and I hope to see you there without further ado Let's go ahead and get into makeup. I'm still gonna always create beauty videos for you guys um, I've been getting some questions about like whether I'm still going to make them with all these other things going on in my life, but um, this is my creative outlet. This is what makes me really happy. I love makeup, and so I am always going to, you know, for now at least, do makeup videos because I think they're really fun to make and hopefully fun for you guys to watch. So, the first thing that I could not possibly be more excited to try is the new Clarisonic Sonic foundation brush. You guys, I have wanted to get my hands on this since it came out. What is my hair doing today? But you put it right on your Clarisonic. So I'm gonna use my Clarisonic, I forget which one this is called. The Smart Pro, the Uplift? The Clarisonic Uplift? I don't know. Ha! Ooh. Ooh, I'm so excited. And we are using, okay, let's just turn on. Whoa. 
Whoa, like bristles just flew off that. Oh, that is good. Oh, it like tickles. I'm so excited. So I don't have a new primer to use. We are just gonna use my Shiseido Ibuki Smart Filter Smoother. I Smart Filtering Smoother. I really like this stuff. It really does do a good job like smoothing the skin. Then we're gonna be using a new foundation. Nikki Tutorials raves about this, so it's been on my list for a while. This is the Lancome Taunt Edel Ultra Wear um, 24 hour foundation. It does have SPF 15 in it, and my shade is 330 Bisque, and I have not even opened this. I have no idea if it's gonna be the right shade. Here's open. I wanted to get it a little darker because I want to be able to wear it in the summer. Okay, it looks like it'll be a pretty good match. I don't know. It might be a little bit too dark for me right now. But that's okay. We're going to go with it and it will be fine. Oh, before I do that, I want to put on my Best Damn Beauty lip mask, you guys. This stuff is the bomb. Like, it is so good. I put this on every day at the beginning of my makeup. It is the only thing that lasts on my lips through doing my makeup, and I just love it so much. Okay, so now for the foundation. I'm going to dot this all over my face. I think this will be a good match for me when I'm a little bit tanner. But for now, we're going to roll with it, and we're just going to put it um, down the neck a little just to make sure it matches. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited to try this brush. I know Tati really loves it. you got to be honest. I watched that review. Here we go. Oh no, there's a bristle. I did notice right when I turned this on, bristles like flew off of it. Hope that doesn't mean it sheds a lot. There we go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's another bristle. No, three bristles. What is happening? Oh my gosh, do you guys even see their bristles all over my face? Also, this foundation is too dark for me. You guys are just gonna have to bear with me. Okay, this is really frustrating me. Okay. Ooh, this foundation looks like it's already oxidized, like as soon as it hit the air. Oh my gosh, do you see? <gasps> One, two, three, four, five. More bristles. This is a joke. What? I just pulled more out. If you're loose, come out. I'm so frustrated. I think this is a foundation you kind of have to work quickly with. Yeah, it's a little dark. <laughs> oh, well, like I said, it's blending out the foundation really well, though. This brush. You don't want to, like, press too hard. Oh, my gosh, it's really, like, seamless. There's, like, no streaking, but there's freaking bristles everywhere. You guys, I'm not a picky person. I'm really not picky. Like, I can handle a lot of things. But bristle, like, are you kidding me? I don't like that. It's just gonna shut all over my face every time I have to spend like five minutes taking out bristles from my foundation. I mean, this is really nice though. It's doing a really good job blending and my hand doesn't hurt from having to tap it out with the beauty blender. I'm sorry, Clarisonic. I'm like going to lose it. This is driving me nuts. I do not like the bristle part. Okay, I need a little bit more coverage in this area. Oh, good. Oh no, that's not a bristle, that's my hair. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I think that's good. Okay, let's do this. I have like a pretty big blemish here, so I'm gonna be really light and I'm trying to cover that. This like really makes the foundation melt into your skin. Like, I really just feel like it's a melting. It doesn't, like, look cakey. It looks really... It looks really nice. Okay. That foundation is too dark. I need a spray tan for that foundation. But we're all just gonna ignore that. And Abby will have to get a spray tan sometime soon. And 
will bronze up the neck a little. I like the finish of this foundation. It doesn't look too heavy or anything like that. It is really nice. I am going to give a go to this concealer. This is the Physician's Formula Instant Ready. I used to, I really liked this when I first bought it and I haven't used it in a while. The thing with this concealer is a little goes a long way. You do not need much to have this be really effective. So I'm going to place it with the Real Techniques setting brush and then we are going to blend it out with the Clarisonic. Ooh! It's like really gentle under the eye too. I even just feel like I can go over my eye. Oh! Oh my goodness! I can't even believe that! It's crazy what this is doing. And it's like so gentle and soft. I feel like I could like, like I said, go over my eye. I, oh my gosh, I might be using this like every single day. I'm just gonna kind of blend out that line a little. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I just wanna keep doing it on my face. <laughs> Is that acceptable or not? Okay, before we do anything else, we're gonna put on cream contour. I wanna try this Laura Mercier J'adore Le Sol Soleil Matte Veil Cream. Now, I ordered this online and it's pretty dark. I did not think it looked this dark online, but it reminded me of my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel, which I love to death. But you guys see how dark this is? So we're gonna see how the Clarisonic does. We're just gonna kinda carve out. Okay, when I play, well, maybe it is still really dark. Okay. It's kind of like, it's really hard. Oh, I don't know you guys, am I making a big mistake right now? I'm gonna mess everything up. I'll just use this brush to blend that out. Okay. Now let's see, it feels really stiff. It doesn't feel really creamy. So let's just see if this can blend this out. I'm nervous. <gasps> oh, it can. Oh my gosh, you guys. Is this like a miracle tool? What is happening right now? Cause this, so I don't know, you guys, this is weird. It is like really a stiff formula. Like this has aggressively vibrating bristles. I feel like that would be really hard to, I feel like this is really hard to blend out. But the brush is doing a good job. I'm kind of bummed about that because I was really excited, but the formula is like so stiff. Like, do you see I'm still going over that? And these are like vibrating bristles. I will say there are no more bristles on my face. So I think we got, I think if you just wash it first, which I didn't do. It might make it a little better for you. Okay, this blended that out. Oh wait, gotta do under the jawline. I don't know that I love this, but I'll give it another go. I'll probably give it another go and just see what happens. All right, so now I do want to set my face. So I have, I got the Kat Von D Shade and Light Color Palette and I wanna use this to set my under eyes. So I'm gonna take the yellow powder here. It's like that banana looking powder. I'm gonna use this synthetic brush for that. I'm really excited. Oh, it's a very like powdery, ooh, chalky formula, which some people don't like, but gotta say, Abby likes powder, powdery formulas. I like softer formulas of everything. I don't mind kick up or kick back or fall out. Oh, this is like velvet. I know you guys have probably already known this because I'm late to this Kat Von D Shade and Light game but it really is, like it feels like velvet. I'm just gonna put this powder where I place the concealer. <sighs> oh my gosh, I love that so much. And then I'm gonna use my trusty CoverGirl Outlast um, all day powder in 8.30 light to medium all over to set the rest of the face. And I kinda just go over the areas that already had powder just to kind of blend them a little. I'm gonna do my brows off camera. I'm just using my NYX um, Micro Pencil in Brunette. I feel like you guys have seen this a million times, so we don't really need to do this on camera. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, now for eyes. I'm very excited about this because I have the Shade and Light Eye Palette. I've never used this, but I think it looks so stunning. And I have been just like eyeing it for what seems like forever and 
So I was really excited to get this. I feel like this is a palette I'll use every single day. It's got such amazing colors in it. It is a full matte palette. You guys may have seen this before. I'm sure you've seen this before. So anyway, I am going to take a fluffy blending brush and take some of this peach shade right here. And I'm just going to dust this all over my lid just to cancel out any discoloration and get my eye ready for some shadow. I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to take a little bit of this shade right here. And none of these have names. Oh, yes, they do. Haha. -ha. Okay. I always get confused, you guys. I'm going to go with this one. It is called Latinus. 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 Yes. Okay. Take some of that. Um, that's a cool color. It does have a pretty good mix of like warmer and cooler shades. I don't normally go with cooler shades, but this one's kind of like warm and cool. I don't even know if that makes sense. These are super pigmented and they're also pretty powdery, which is usually when the shadows are like most blendable and easy to work with, which I very much appreciate. I want to take a little bit of a stiffer blending brush. That one's just a little bit too flimsy for this. I wanted to use a MAC 217 and take some of that warm color. And I'm just going to place this in the outer part of the eye. Look at that pigment though. You do get a ton of kickback. Look, oh my god, did not mean to do all that. It's fine, we'll work with it. And these all should be, because they're so powdery, they all should be pretty blendable. Oh my goodness gracious. I can, oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me right now? You guys, honestly, this is maybe shameful to some of you. I've never tried Kat Von D eyeshadows. This is my first experience. So some of you are probably like, um, Abby, yeah, this is what her eyeshadows are like. And I'm like, uh, well, I've never tried them before. Well, that's just like insanely beautiful. I can't even handle that. I just like, this is such a good smoky eye palette. Like if you wanna do all different shades of smoky eyes, ugh, I think this is awesome. And it has so many good transition colors. It'd be a great palette to travel with. I think I'm gonna go in, where's the eyeshadow I'm using? We're gonna be using this Stila Magnificent Metal, which is kind of like a pinky lilac. I think I'm gonna go in with this yellow shade right here and kind of pack that on a flat shader brush and just tap this on the inner portion of the lid and just kind of, so that it's a little bit brighter. Do you guys see that? I really wanna focus it on the inner corner and then just kind of tap it out so there's no harsh lines, but we keep that nice smoky transition. And I love the way that looks. It's like a coppery brown ombre. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so next we have this eyeshadow that we're gonna use. Now, I wanna show you guys something. This is one of the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow and it's in Sunset Cove. And I feel like this was like one of their new ones or something. Okay, can you guys just see how this swatches? Can you see how it's like, it looks like patchy. It's very strange and it, it very much concerns me. I don't know how to apply this, to be honest. No, uh, we're just gonna go for it and see what happens. Okay, here we go. <gasps> oh, I was, oh my, my camera just stopped recording in the middle of that. Oh my gosh, do you guys even see this right now? Got a little up there. Okay, so you have to work with these quickly. But it's like, this is like a mermaid color. So much of it is coming off on my finger. Should I use a brush? All right, we're gonna try a brush because, I don't know, I'm just having trouble. So let's try a brush. Oh my gosh. It's really, patchy when you apply it. I don't know, this eye definitely looks better than that eye. A lot better. Blush and then, blush, use a brush and then pat it out with your finger. There isn't really much I can do to this eye now, so what we're gonna do is just take that clean blending and we're just gonna, I think this does flake off, but I'm just gonna kinda lightly go over this one. I think the color is beautiful, but I don't really know how to work with that to make it look nice and I don't really think it looks nice I don't know what do you guys think I think I'm gonna put on some black with liquid liner just to try to save this a little bit 
that's what I'm gonna do because I feel like I just have to cover up like part of my lash line and it'll look a little bit better. I am liking the lilac more with the liquid liner. I think it looks much better. It doesn't look like so bright and crazy. I think it just looks really pretty and metallic. So for the lower lash line, I am gonna go back to the shade and light palette and I'm gonna take a pointed brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of this color here and this color and I'm gonna run that in the outer corner to start and then kind of move it in. And every time I look up at you guys, I poke myself in the eye. So I'm gonna look down and do this. We're really going for it today. I'm gonna add mascara. I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. You guys, I'm digging this foundation, like really loving it. Also, if you need a good drugstore mascara, like. Like seriously, best drugstore mascara. Toby has weaseled his way up here. My camera turned off. I'm in the middle of that. So I already put my mascara on. Okay, just sit there, buddy. Good boy. Um, so we are gonna do um, bronzer. I already used that cream contour, so that's really all the contouring I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I know this is a contour palette, but I love this color right here. And I think it might be a good like all over bronzy shade for me. So we're gonna try it. If it's too like ashy, we'll move on to another one. But let's go in there. This shade is called Shadow Play. I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty pigmented. Mm-hmm. But it's like a nice warm tone. I like that this is warm because I can use this as kind of an all over bronzer. We all know Abby right now. She cannot get enough of the bronze. We're just gonna really load it up. All right, then for blush, I don't have a new blush that so we're going to go in. This is fairly new to me though. This is the Itzy um, Glambition Collection from Love for Lacquer, my friend Jess. Did this I will have it linked below for you guys it is so gorgeous I love this so much I'm obsessed with this blush like obsessed hundred percent do you it is the most perfect coral color and it's like a satin finish so it's like insanely pigmented I've been using this every day in this bread um, it's insanely pigmented but it's not overpowering or overwhelming like a lot of blushes can be so I can really just kind of pack it on. And it's satin, so it has this like nice sheen to it. This might be like one of my favorite blushes of all time. Okay, now for highlight, we're gonna take the same palette and I'm gonna take this highlight up here. These have a lot of kickback, but they're really soft and creamy and super blendable. And do you see that highlight? Like what? Seriously, were you expecting that though? So good. Oh, oh yeah, I got a little carried away that time, didn't I? Ha, ah, ah. ha, Beauty Blender to the rescue. I always have a damp Beauty Blender on hand when I do my makeup, for when I do things like that, like get a little crazy with my highlighter, you know. All right, now we're gonna spritz before we do lips. Urban Decay All Night, you guys know the dream. Mm. I just wanna bathe in it. Can't even like stop with setting spray like I can't all right we are gonna use a product that my friend Ashley sent to me that I'm obsessed with it is this Marc Jacobs nude lipstick and my new product I'm testing out is the Becca crystal lip gloss so I'm just gonna put on what is this color called it's it's no angel number 242 it is my favorite nude lipstick of all time I assess I keep wearing this with a gloss over it and I'm definitely gonna be buying the full size. And thank you to my girl Ashley, young and 19, for sending me this best ever. I'm gonna use this gloss over top and see, I haven't even like swatched this gloss. Let's see. <gasps> oh yeah, that's perfect. And it's perfect for this look. It's their liquid crystal. Mmm. Do you guys see like how pouty that makes my lips look and just how iridescent? It, it just has that like crystal sheen. Oh, I love it so much. I love that. Yay! We tested out new makeup today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you enjoy this look. We had a little trouble with the Stila Magnificent Metals. I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more. Maybe I'll watch another video. On, Cause I remember when Tati did it, I feel like she put it on directly and then tapped it out. It might just take like some layers of building. Just have to keep testing that out. But give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. 
If you want to join my power project, click the link below and go check it out. Like I said, this is the product of my spiritual journey thus far and my teaching platform so that I can help you awaken your soul's purpose and your calling and tune into your inner light and your amazing energy and raise the vibration of the world. So I will have my power project linked below. It's totally free, remember, and I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this channel and this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Mwah!